What's up guys, Derek, moreplaysmoreadays.com. Today we are going to be reacting to uh, the Larry Wheels video of this uh, absolutely unfortunate and terrifying peck tear. So I have not watched the video yet because I want to get a reaction video. And um, I know there's a GoFundMe available for the individual who had the pecked hair. So hopefully this video picks up some steam and then brings some attention to the uh, you know GoFundMe to help the guy out. Apparently he's in a pretty shitty predicament where he doesn't have any insurance to cover the surgery. So there is, uh, you know, it's like some people shit on people who make the GoFundMes and stuff. And they say like, oh, you got to support yourself. And at the end of the day, this guy is a content creator and he's putting his career at risk to go on videos and do max outs and shit he probably wouldn't do otherwise if it wasn't for trying to make entertaining content for the majority of people who are watching. So it's like, I think you should, the people who kind of get annoyed at people making the GoFundMes maybe need to take a step back and reevaluate the situations these guys put in in order to entertain their audience. It isn't just the same boring, you know, this is my, this is the same chest workout I do like every fucking week where I do, you know, 12 to 15 reps of like fill in the blank thing. Like we're today, we're going to attempt a PR. Like obviously that's a bit more exciting for certain people and is going to bring in more views and gets more uh, positive attention. And obviously that reinforces more risky behaviors. And they put the, you know, obviously it's on the, you know, bodybuilder or whatever to evaluate the risk and make an educated decision on if it's a risk worth taking. But at the end of the day, a lot of the shit I see people do on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, blah, 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 is shit they probably wouldn't be doing if it wasn't for trying to please the audience. So just be aware of that when you watch this shit, because this is some, from the thumbnail, this is like grotesque shit dude and this guy like i feel very very bad for him because i highly doubt from what i can tell he has five fucking plates on the bar here doing an incline bench i'm assuming a max out and this shit is like potentially career ending you know devastating career threatening injury so anyways let's uh get into the video here Please help our friend Ryan Crowley. Larry has started GoFundMe. Link in the description box below. Videos will follow. Ryan's injury, Larry's statement. Okay, so the GoFundMe link is uh, in Larry Wheel's video description below. I will uh, drop a link to it as well in case you guys want to go support that recovery process. Um, this is in only 15 hours. Oh, we've reached our GoFundMe goal. Wow. Jesus, that was fucking quick. Thank you so much to everyone who's contributed. Ryan is done with surgery and recovering in the hospital bed as I write this message. Wow. Well, anyways, that's good to hear. That is, um, he got this shit done quick because I know I'm not an expert about injuries and recovery and whatnot, but I mean, I am pretty, you know, I think it's fairly well understood. That the faster you get the surgery done, the better in terms of your recovery process. So this is something that obviously they expedited this shit and um, that's great that, like the power of social media, man, amazing. So, anyways, let's uh, get into this here. It's hard to even watch it when you like know what the outcome is already. Fuck. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Stay with me. Stay with me. Yes. Let's go. Boom. I'm you've here. Got you. You've got you. You've got you. Ah! 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 No! No! Ah! 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 No! Shit. Yeah, come on. Yes, let's go. Boom. I'm here. Got you. Got you. Got you. Fuck, dude. I can't watch it in different angles again. Jesus Christ. No. Man, you can like hear the guy say no. That's sad, man. It is devastating. It is threatening his career. He's currently going under surgery as I speak. He has surgery at 5 p.m. I'm not speaking at 6. I'm wishing him all the best, hope everything goes well. However, he's from the UK, his insurance will not cover the surgery. So I'm asking you guys to please help a brother get back on track and get him back to his one true passion. He has one discipline and it's bodybuilding. He has tremendous potential. He's standing at six foot three, 330 plus pounds. He is a phenom and I really want to see this man do well. Um, it was tragic to see it happen. I saw how devastated he was when it happened. I was spotting him. And it's, it's really terrible that he has to go through this. So whatever you guys can donate will help immensely. 
all funds will of course go towards his hospital bills and a rehabilitation. Thank you guys so much for the support and link in bio for the GoFundMe link. Okay, wow, dude, that's fucking, ugh, like shivers going down my spine right now. Um, so let's go look at the GoFundMe, let's see what the goal was. 25,000 bucks in 20 hours, wow, that's awesome. Um, so anyway, that's great to see they already hit their goal. Um, what can we do? I guess, you know, one thing I would say is for like, honestly, this is the first time I've heard of Ryan Crowley. Personally, I don't follow, you know, up incoming bodybuilders that as close as I used to, like, I'm not as, I don't know, tuned into the sport as I used to be. But I mean, if this guy is going out of his way to do shit, like I know there's always going to be the people in the audience who say stuff like what kind of idiot would max out with five plates and put themselves in that position that where they could ruin their career. Like what a horrible decision. Like you have to understand like most bodybuilders when they train for like this guy's a bodybuilder from what I understand, not a, you know, by profession, like a power lifter or a strong man or something. But guys, when they go out to train with Larry or when they go out to train with, you know, guys who are, you know, not exactly from their genre of competition, they will often adopt and, you know, join in on whatever workouts they're doing. Like I've seen, you know, many, even men's physique guys go like hang out with strongman competitors and like borderline, like fuck themselves up trying to do strongman shit. And it's like, yeah, on the one hand, you could say that was a dumb thing to do. But on the other hand, you have to realize typically when a bodybuilder trains, they're doing like very, very injury minded stuff to avoid this kind of a scenario from happening. They're doing things in higher rep ranges. They're focusing on hypertrophy. They're not doing PR max outs. Like I don't even remember the last fucking time I've maxed out on anything, to be honest. Like this shit is terrifying even going for a max out at all, let alone a five plate max out on incline. Fucking insane. So I don't know if Ryan Crowley does this often or what, but like presumably I would think this is something he's doing as a means of entertainment and for a guy to literally put his career on the line to go about doing that. Like, I think that's at least, you know, again, people are going to say maybe it's irresponsible, but I, I think it's honestly something that shows how passionate about this shit he is that he's willing to put himself on the line for the audience, you know? He knows he's on Larry Wheel's channel. He knows, you know, people wanna be entertained. He wants to give as good of a show as possible to the viewers. And he does, he literally tries something that could end his career potentially in order to, you know, make people happy at the end of the day and have you entertained while you're watching their stuff. So um, if there's a way to support him above and beyond the GoFundMe, I imagine it's at least check out, you know, the content with Larry and him, go check out uh, Ryan Crowley's page individually and you know if you like his content consider following him because i'm sure um he would appreciate you know the support after this event and um hopefully he comes back stronger than ever and uh you know the shit is rectified in short order and you know good on larry for helping to expedite this like, the fitness community is a very you know tight-knit community it's not very you know i guess it's it's big objectively to us it seems big but in the grand scheme of things it's kind of like a small niche in the social media world and, um, you know, it's always cool to see when people come together and, you know, support a common goal like this and, you know, knock it out of the park. So good on everyone who came together on this. And, uh, like I said, hopefully Ryan Crowley makes a speedy recovery because, um, you know, again, devastating shit. So anyways, check out his page. And, um, again, obviously props to Larry for taking care of him because that's, uh, you know, a fucked up thing to go through. So obviously a good friend. So anyway, so that is my reaction to the video and, um, you know, fucking horrifying dude. Like, honestly, I, I highly recommend if you were not a guy who's like a power lifter or whatever, like be very careful about the PRs you do. Like even some of my gorilla mind athletes, when I see them going for PRs constantly in every video, I'm like, I'm cringing, dude. I'm like, bro, like I get, I get that you guys want to beat your PRs every, you know, every week and whatnot, but I'm seeing them like get like borderline injured constantly. Like how many guys are like tweaking a thing here, tweaking a thing here. I'm like, guys, like your goal is hypertrophy. I like for the most part, like I know you're trying to beat numbers, but I mean like be careful, bro. Like please. So anyways, please be careful everyone. And uh, that's the end of the video. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram at more plates, more dates, all the other social media platforms, comment for the algorithm helps kind of push the video and whatnot. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.